Hello. Have you ever wondered what a greener, smarter energy grid would look like beyond its technologies? In this video, I will illustrate to you how the transition from centralized to more decentralized energy systems is not only technological, but inherently social and political as well. The introduction of solar panels over the past decades enabled citizens to diverge from their traditional role as energy consumers and become producers of energy at the same time. Now, energy technologies such as storage batteries and smart appliances enable citizens to go even a step beyond and become co-managers of energy. However, if citizens are to contribute to smart grid objectives meaningfully, this implies major changes in domestic life. How citizens interact with smart energy technologies and what new behaviors they adopt is studied in smart grid projects across the Netherlands. Insights from such projects suggest that emerging energy practices include extensive energy monitoring with smart meters and apps, uh, energy storage with batteries in or around the home, uh, timing of demand, for example, by starting your washing machine when the sun is shining, actively or with the help of algorithms, and uh, the co-production of renewable energy. These new tasks and routines constitute a divers diversification in the roles and practices that citizens may perform in relation to energy. In other words, it is no longer a situation of one type of energy for all. Instead, citizens may install solar panels, co-invest in windmills, or try to become energy autonomous. At the same time, what the energy system of the future will look like is not decided by engineers and policymakers alone, but crucially co-determined by citizens in several ways. And I will mention three of them. First, in Amsterdam, living labs are significant sites of co-creation of the energy system. Typically, living labs are the niche environments where formal actors, such as energy suppliers and net operators, experiment with new technologies and roles in a real-life setting involving citizens. However, co-creation is not contained to these delimited spaces of uh, these labs. When citizens buy solar panels, start a green energy subscription or collectively invest in a windmill project. Their actions also work to co-develop a particular energy system. This brings us to two other types of co-creation of energy in Dutch cities. Advocacy and interest groups such as energy collectives, uh, privacy watchdogs, consumer organizations and environmental NGOs collaborate and influence smart grid development on behalf of citizens. And thirdly, citizens co-create smart energy grids in an indirect way as well. Engineers, software developers, policymakers, etc., develop smart grids based on imagined end users, what they believe citizens' wishes, preferences, and practices are or should be. And this image of the end user may or may not be realistic or desirable from different points of view. The role of citizens is changing in interplay with the transformation of traditional actors who try to reinvent themselves and the roles that they play. So grid operators, energy suppliers, governments, and other actors are re redefining their relationship to each other and to citizens. Together, these stakeholders are co-creating the future energy system in terms of technologies and infrastructures, as well as in social and political terms. So these actors have to face the desires, values, and actions of citizens. In reconfiguring the energy system, topics such as privacy, data, environmental and economic impacts and distributions, new roles and dependencies are explicitly and implicitly subject to renegotiation. For example, heating the home with a smart heat pump leads to new questions of autonomy and control. Importantly, while new forms of data gathering and spreading that go along with smart grids and smart meters may facilitate the greening of energy consumption, these processes may also result in new forms of surveillance and may threaten the, th the trust and privacy of citizens. Now, to conclude, our energy system can take widely different shapes, but, co -created, but is co-created by different stakeholders. Citizens and their various roles are important to take into account in this transition. 
the precise roles that they play out in their everyday lives are crucial in determining what the future energy system will look like. 